Hi, we're going to do a brief tutorial on analog synthesis using the synthesizer.com analog modular synthesizer. We're going to build a, a simple patch um, and get into the basic components on this particular machine. So uh, get ready, get all your analog synthesizer equipment out. I know you have it. And, uh, and if you don't have it yet, get a kit and build one right now. So. Here we go. Okay, so here we are at our synthesizers.com analog synthesizer. It's very similar to the 1960s Moog synthesizer. Um, going to go over the basic components here. We have an oscillator, another oscillator, and another oscillator. These generate the tones, and at the bottom you can see uh, sine wave, triangle wave, saw wave, ramp wave, and pulse wave. Each of these oscillators allow us to choose those different waveforms as our tone source. Um, the patch we have going here, I'm going to undo so we can uh, see how they all fit together. So let me just pop these out. We'll disconnect everything. And start at the beginning. Okay. Basically, what you want to do is have the output of these oscillators sum someplace, combine, um, uh, so we can blend them together. So I can pick any of these waveforms on any of these oscillators. So I'm going to pick a saw wave here, and I'm going to put it into my audio mixer here. Okay, so that's one patch. Then I'm going to take, say, I don't know, pulse wave, and uh, plug that one in, number two. And then we'll take another patch cord, I'm going to go into uh, the next oscillator here, I'll pick another saw wave, just for fun. And then I'll put that into input three of the mixer. So now I have an audio mixer that will allow me to blend the tones created by these three oscillators. All right, so now <clears throat> the output of that mixer has to go somewhere. And um, one place it could go, output of the mixer, could go directly into this amplifier. And uh, it would generate a tone. But uh, what we typically do is take the output of the oscillators and run them through a filter. So I'm going to take the output here, and I'm going to plug that into this state variable filter very nice sounding filter and you just have to find the input that's where it goes signal inputs right there and uh, just pop that in uh, or I could go into this input which allows me control over the level going into the filter now the output of the filter has to go somewhere for us to hear a tone so here I have my low pass output of my filter going into the input of an amplifier. Okay. Now the overall output of this is going to a regular amplifier that's going to speakers. And now we should hear some kind of sound. from the keyboard's control voltage output. So as I change keys, play different notes on the keyboard, it sends 
a varying voltage or control voltage out. So I've sent that into this mold. It splits out. I created three splits here. One for each oscillator. So if I pop this into my uh, control voltage input, one volt per octave, one volt per octave. I got another one here. One volt per octave. What should happen is we should hear pitch change. <laughs> from the keyboard controls the pitch of each of these oscillators, the frequency actually which we perceive as pitch. Um, then we could shape the sound using these envelope generators, ADSRs. Mm -hmm. 